I'm Father John Ganey of the Paulist Fathers, and you're watching Psalm Sent. You know, just a few weeks ago, we had a beautiful Sunday afternoon. It was just one of those wonderful days when you wanted to have a beach in your life. And here in Boston, we have one, which is called City Point. And there, things were going along just swimmingly for everybody, except for one autistic child whose name is Muhammad. Muhammad, somehow or another, got away from his parents. And while a search ensued, what everybody feared did indeed happen. Somehow, Muhammad had gotten into the water, and despite his autism, or maybe because of his autism, he was unable to cry out for help. And he was discovered about 24 hours later on the opposing beach. Now, that's a tragic situation. It doesn't need any description beyond that. Muhammad's people were all Mohammedans. And I'm sure that they are searching for consolation just as we would if we were in the same situation. And I looked around to see if in the Psalms there was the kind of words that would indeed help that family and even us as we realized how badly this had gone for Muhammad. And those words came to us from Psalm 3, which is one we kind of ignore because it's early on in the Psalms. And what is it that this Psalm writer says to us in Psalm 3? How many are saying, there is no help for him or her in God. But you, Lord, are a shield surrounding me, my glory who lifts up my head. I don't know Mohammed's family, except for what was written in the Boston Globe. But I am sure that those words might be very consoling to them. At times like these, when there is so much heartbreak for parents, for family, just for reading the newspaper, we find ourselves reaching out to the people who were hurt. And the Psalms help us to realize the great gift that God is for all our faiths, Muslim, Jews, Christians, every religion of the world can find solace and hope and caring in the Psalms. So today, when you have a chance, read Psalm 3 and think of the child who was never able to speak, never able to do many of the things that young children do, and yet has had a profound effect on many, many of us. For some sense, I'm Father John Ganey. My time is up. I thank you for yours.